Did you know that batteries and station ears, the batteries that you have in your suit and the batteries that you have in your station are affected by cold atmosphere? On Europa, for example, with minus 140, minus 150 degrees Celsius, batteries get discharged. And I wanted to know just how much this happens and does it also happen for heat? So here we have a battery, another battery, a room that we can expose to a gas of our choosing and afterwards we can reset the experiment. Before we start the experiment we have to charge the batteries. That's why we have 25 RTGs here with an overall power output of 100,000 watts. Nothing but the two transformers here are connected to the RTGs. Anything else that needs power has its own RTG power source. So let's see just how fast we can charge these with 100,000 watts. Yeah, okay, that's enough. Here you can see what's happening. Don't mind the displays at the top. They are meant to show you a negative delta from game tick to game tick, uh, showing you discharge. They're not made, f made for this situation. Almost done. At least a small one. Okay, they're full. That was almost real time. So they're completely full. Cable analyzer saying 3.6 megawatts and 9 megawatts. Hmm, wait, before we start we have to close up this wall. Hey, wait, this is the wrong one? Okay, closed up. But now behold. What's this? There's no gas in there, yet they're ticking down with 50 watts, or whatever that unit is, per game tick. Still ticking down. And now it's over. See, there's some weird behavior here in Station Ears. I'm in the vacuum now, but it's world atmosphere. No effect on the batteries. And I am relatively sure that if you place these batteries on Europa, where it's super cold, they will also not be discharged when they are in world atmosphere. But don't quote me on that. I haven't tested it really. I heard that. As soon as I turn this room into an actual room, the fact that it's a vacuum will discharge these batteries with 50 watts per game tick. Why? Anyway, that's the way it is. So before we start the actual experiment, we have to keep charging the batteries constantly, basically. So now I added a little bit of gas in here. We have three kilopascals, uh, not even one mole of O2 at room temperature. Batteries are still being charged because of that vacuum effect. Now they're being discharged strongly but let's uh, connect the rooms. Hmm, not much is happening. Even though we do get some gas in here now. Maybe it's not enough pressure? Bit more then. Aha, now it's 10. So they're still discharging with 10 ticks per uh, 10 watts per game tick, even though it's room temperature. Hmm. What if you add more gas? Still 10 watts per game tick. I mean, 
I repeat, there's no load on these batteries. You saw that nothing was, ha was happening to them when the window was still open, so they were exposed to the world and no charging was taking place. Why are they discharging at room temperature? Do they need more pressure? If that isn't enough pressure, then I don't know what to do. They are constantly discharging. What is this? This is completely unexpected, but, you know, I didn't do any tests but the vacuum before starting this video. Baffling. Now I lowered the temperature of the gas to 10 degrees. Still a discharge. Why? There's literally no load on these batteries. And what if it's hotter? Hmm, that seems to have been too much. <laughs> uh, yep. That was too much heat. Okay, I reload it. All oh, right, I have to <laughs> expose. Here we go. Still 10 discharge. Why? Why are these batteries discharging? Is oxygen the culprit? Let's go with nitrogen next time. Reset. vacuum. Okay, let's add some room temperature nitrogen. Hmm, that was a little much. I guess we don't have much time before the walls blow out. Uh, right. Twenty degrees. Discharge? Ten. Maybe the gas doesn't play any role, but just... Yeah, what is it that plays the role? Well, for good measure, let's use some uh, nitrogen at um, 100 Kelvin, which is very, very, very cold. Yeah, it's in there now. Let's wait until it has settled. There. Expose. Ten degrees. Uh, ten, ten delta. Weird. Let's recharge, see what happens. Ah, minus ten. I think I saw something like minus seventeen earlier when I tested this. And, um, maybe there was oxygen? Oh, the pressure isn't high enough. Yeah, let's add some more. Huh. Add some more. Okay, now we're at minus 20. Minus 21. I wonder how high this goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Added some more. Yeah, minus 31. That's as low as it goes. Um, or so, I thought. <laughs> so, let's say, instead of this, we say minus 10 degrees. Otherwise, uh... And same pressure. I will try to, to do that. One moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beep. Maybe the pressure is too low. Let's add some more. Still 10. I made it somewhat colder. Now the discharge is stronger. I don't know why there's a difference between these two. There's probably some kind of simulation rounding error thing. I don't think this is actually relevant. Other than that's what's happening right now. I still don't get why they're discharging at room temperature. I don't get that at all. 
Let's make it even colder. Okay, then some CO2 at room temperature, please. <laughs> okay, then a bit hotter. Yeah, that's hotter indeed. Okay. So the big question basically is, when does it start going down from, and I still can't fathom that it's constantly discharging, uh... And wouldn't if you just place them in the world? What's happening there? Um, what? Uh, when does it sh start discharging faster than ten? When does that happen? I would assume it has to be some relatively high pressure. Let's say 150, and it has to be negative temperatures. 138 is still a bit hot. <laughs> uh huh. Going down. Positive degrees, 80 kilopascals, no effect. Okay, let's continue then. Uh -huh. Still 10, interesting. Minus 25 degrees, it doesn't budge. Is it the pressure? So, over 100 kilopascals, still minus 25 degrees, and the temperature is still fine. So minus 25 degrees at high pressure, relatively high pressure, no problem. Or is it the, uh, is it the carbon dioxide? Well, only one way, to, one way to find out. I will do the same with oxygen. This is really carbon dioxide. Hmm, a bit lower the pressure. That's better. over 100. So I guess the gas type really doesn't play a role. Even more gas, which is rather high already. Um, but no, doesn't do anything. So how about we go lower with the temperature? Nope. Still not. Aha, uh -huh. okay, now we're at minus 70 degrees, and yes, it's discharging faster. When was that? Let's add something warmer. Sixty-five. Sixty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I guess 60 degrees is where the curve starts to run, huh? Mm-hmm. Or maybe 55? Yeah, I guess it's 55. So there you have it. The mystery of the battery discharge. And that's all for today.